Hey guys, if you're enjoying all of this caffeine and mana, consider becoming a YouTube member today or donating on our PayPal. All right, all right. So uh, today we're gonna talk about modern character designs. What you see here is this new, well, anime, but this is the manga that came out, I think two years ago. And uh, it just got an anime now. And why are we talking about this? Because this is the best example that I can use because it's a new IP really that's got an anime now of how modern male character designs are just awful. Now this idea came about because a friend brought up the fact that some editors in Jump were really puzzled as to why do young creators coming to the magazine why are they creating young male characters that are not appealing or that, don't that do not have a cool appeal? All of the male characters these days seem to have this noodle-like K-pop uh, boy band aesthetic where it actually kind of just looks like an insult. And how most of the stories revolve around these male characters at the feet of these boss women, these boss hoes, these boss waifus, these boss hussies, and that's all there is to it. There's no story, it's just kissing the feet, literally, most of the time, of this boss hussy, right? So we're gonna talk about the importance today that we need to counteract this because this is another sense of demoralization. When I see male characters like that, uh, I'm not inspired. I'm not inspired at all. I don't look like that. I'm not, I'm not a scrawny uh, noodle head like that because by creating characters like this, these boy band characters, Korean pop looking weirdo freak plastic boys, it, it cannot inspire anybody at all. Oh man, why is this happening? This is not inspiring now. Look at this. This looks like a girl. That looks like a transgender. That looks like a plastic doll. I don't know what that even looks like. This is insanity. This is not inspiring. I want us to be conscious of the types of characters we design because we're definitely living in a time where they are purposely trying to demoralize the man. Trying to put the man down, trying to make the man a sissy. And there's a bunch of sissies. You see them sissies, these hunchbacks, always coming after me, right, trying to defend garbage because they're a bunch of simps and they think by defending garbage, well, they're always going to be on the winning side. You're a coward. You're a coward. There is no winning side if you join that side. They already hate you for being such a sloppy hunchback. Look at these freaks of nature over here. That is atrocious. And man, when I started looking deeper in this, I was like, you know, some of these guys look, remind me of Naruto. And I was like, oh no, I once liked Naruto a great deal. But if we actually examine him, examine his design, even adult Naruto as Hokage, while Kishimoto still had full control, adult Naruto had that dad energy, which was cool. But then in Boruto, he was purposely nerfed and purposely turned into an idiot so that Boruto can get the shine. Boruto looks like one of these people. One of these plastic boys. One of these noodle bean heads. This is just uninspiring, bro. Like, I don't want to look like this. Does any man look at these people and be like, yeah, I want to be like one of these guys? Hell to the no, if that's you, you got a problem. You got a problem, your dad wasn't there, he ain't teaching you nothing right this this is this is disgusting so let's look at an introduction actually to this uh anime and look what it's called it's actually called slave all right oh chain soldier but in the anime in the manga it translates literally to slave so is this not indoctrination guys like seriously japan japan's got that damn hunchback sauce that they dishing out now to the public. They got that mind virus sauce that they dishing out to the public. Japanese men have been demoralized for a very long time because of their economy and all that, but that's not an excuse to then just 
always fantasize about just being trampled on by these waifu hoes. So let's actually hear this guy's basic summary of what this slavery anime is about. Are you looking for another school anime or just another harem anime in general? Shut up, I know you are. Stop talking. So this is a school and there are a lot of girls. We have floating girls, girls that can carry water bottles with their hair. And there's one normal guy living his everyday life. Some really creepy shit is going on. Normal guy pulls out his phone to listen to his favorite VTuber's voice one last time. There are black monsters, not white to prevent copyright from bleach. They have the power of 3D CGI. Hot girl appears to save normal school guy. Normal school guy falls in love. Normal school guy licks her finger to become Denji from Chainsaw Man. Now, just, just that moment here. Guys, what the actual F is going on? I know what's going on. I've been telling you that they're trying to demoralize us. Look at this. What is this, man? How can a young man, a young boy who just discovered anime, imagine this is his first anime, bro. This is his first anime and in his mind, it's going to be like, oh, I don't have to improve myself. All I have to do is just lick the finger of some hussy down the street and she's gonna put a chain around my neck and I'm gonna do whatever she says. What? You see, this, this is not inspiring. This is demoralizing. This is taking away your own, your own potential. It's taking away your own potential, what you can personally accomplish in your life. This is teaching everybody just to submit to the feminine. Sorry, but we don't do that here. We don't do that here. It's all about that caffeine and testosterone up in here, right? This, this is pure brainwashing, no matter what you say. He gets powered up by becoming a slave. And like Jesus rising from his grave, he became the main protagonist with the magical collar. One lick and he busts a huge nut. It turns him into the high school DXD protagonist. They fight together and beat the hollow. More girls with colorful hair. Pink colored hair girl is glowing. Girls with machine guns. Girls that like stepping on people. Lewd scenes. French kisses. The power of horniness. Ara Ara Mommy One Chan blonde girl appears to steal the main character. Why wouldn't you watch this anime? Watch. The power of horniness. That's all it is. This is what Japan is only capable of producing now as well. They are only trying, not even trying, they are only dishing out product that appeals to the three primal instincts. Fear, lust, and violence. That's it. This manga appeals to obviously a lot of lust factor. And it's got some, well, high level of um, violence. But nevertheless, its foundation is based on lust. Look at this main character. A scrawny loser, man. Like, this guy doesn't become anything that I would personally like to pursue. If anything, he powers up under the context of being a slave. The more loyal he is, I suppose, uh, the more stronger he is, but still under the chains of some hussy. This is just insanity, man. Straight up just crazy. Nothing about this character design again, makes me want to be like him at all. Now, if we were to examine, right, if we were to examine a little bit of Deku in My Hero Academia, for the longest time, I didn't like Deku. He was a total noodle head and whatnot, and he still is. But his character has developed in which he's less of a sissy crybaby now, and he's actually like determined. However, his character design is still that of, well, a sissy. Now, hey, I do like him better now, I do, but ultimately, Deku's not somebody I would like to look like. All Might, to this day, you know, the grandiose All Might, not the shriveled one, he is somebody that I still would like to look like because he represents power, he represents order, he represents structure. But now you might have muscle head characters who don't represent anything like modern bodybuilders like Chris Bumstead. I don't know if you guys know Chris Bumstead, but he is a world Olympia, Mr. Olympia champion. And uh, there was a video he did where he was talking about, I'm trying to figure out life and stuff like that. This guy's like 300 pounds of pure steroid muscle right and the dude was crying 
over there and holding his hands like some depressed 15 year old girl. You would think like, yeah, I want to look like, okay, this is rather much. I mean, this is hardcore roid action, but you get the idea. You get the, the appeal. However, if somebody says, sees this and like, man, Chris looking cool, I want to be like him. Then you find out his real character. It's like, dude, you're kind of a sissy. You kind of don't know what the heck you're talking about, do you? You kind of don't even know what life is even about at all. It was this video here. And I was like, I can't believe this. This guy, seriously, bro? Was it this video? There was a part here where he was totally just crying like a little girl. Okay, doesn't matter, but you get the point. Now, Naruto, going back to Naruto, see, his character design, not somebody that I want to look like. Seriously, this is a straight up attempt to demoralize all of us. If we type in Goku, the last character I wanted to look like recently was obviously All Might before he got shriveled. But prior to All Might, boys wanted to look like Goku, right? A lot of us did. Dragon Ball inspired a lot of people to go to the gym. And now, what do we have now? We have these freaks. Look at that. Oh man, I can't even look at that for too long. That's nasty. Look at that with their pink, green, orange hair. Oh man, that is just atrocious. So I'm telling y'all, we got to create characters that young men actually want to look like. Honestly, because these days I see that there is a grandiose loss of standards. That's for sure. Um, and we need to bring back the standards. And that's what we're doing at Unsuru Go with Mana. We know exactly what we're doing with Mana, especially when it comes to the point of Mana comes from the soul and provides inspiration. You can't inspire people with character designs that look like this, right? You cannot do that. You can inspire people with character designs that look like this, with stories that tell you that you need to be a slave. That's not inspiring, that's demoralizing. Like, think about your characters and what they represent. Y'all can say my manga sucks, this, this, and that, but I create characters, well, my main character, Jacob, somebody whom I want to look like, right? I want him to represent the ideals. I want the design to be cool. I don't want him to look like a scrawny noodle kid and a freak incel weirdo, shot in hunchback loser. I don't want that. This, if your main character looks like this, uh, you wanna have to change that character right now. Obviously it depends on the age. I mean, you can't have like a buff seven year old, but maybe you can because OG Dragon Ball, Trunks and Goten, yeah, they, they had that Saiyan muscle energy, even at that age, right? So you totally can, you just, well, got to be creative. But honestly, if you guys have character designs that look like this, please, please stop it. You can say, well, this is an extrapolation of modern reality. This is how modern men look like. Does that make it right? Is it right that modern men look like plastic dolls like this? They look like Ken's scrawny cans with all sorts of pearls and green hair and posing like they're on drugs oh man nah man does it make it right no if you're a scrawny hunchback and you want to approve this madness because you're too lazy to do something about it right well then you're pathetic plain and simple you have to you have to create characters that inspire humans to push through their limits that's the foundation of humanity we're builders we're builders so let your characters represent somebody who builds somebody who can lift the world somebody who goes beyond not this this is totally not it totally not it i'm not saying you gotta create an omega bodybuilder like goku no but without a doubt it cannot be some freak like this. It cannot be some boy band looking loser like this. It just, you just have to be creative about it.
I'm not going to dictate of how buff your character has to look like, but one thing is for sure, they cannot be a noodle weirdo like this. Just can't. I mean, look at this pose. Look at that. That is so messed up. Look at that rainbow hair action over there. Oh, man. Look at this. All these guys, you can sneeze and they'll probably like evaporate, bro, with how soy-like they are. Like, nah, man. This is too much soy. Enough with the soy, guys. Let's design our characters to represent ideals of strength, like how All Might used to look. Deku, perhaps, we don't know if this, well, the story is ending soon, but if you actually pay attention to the roster right now, Luffy has always been literally a noodle spaghetti man. Always. Uh, those who say Luffy's inspiring, oh right, man, I, I, whatever. I'm not gonna talk about that because you One Piece hordes are gonna come after me. Whatever, but Luffy, that, I don't wanna look like Luffy. I don't. L Luffy in reality, yeah, he, he looks like he's got AIDS. Sorry. Now the Luffy live, um, live action movie, yeah, the guy is pretty skinny, you know, but at the end of the day, I don't wanna look like that. That's the point. I don't want to look like that, but fine. It fits his power system because he's a rubber man, right? Luffy, the rubber man. So be it. But if you also look at Sakamoto Days, a very popular manga, it's an old dad guy who's got a dad bod. Do you want to look like that? No. Yes, sometimes he transforms into his old self, but then he transforms to look like one of these people. Do you want to look like that? No. Jujutsu Kaisen, well, I can't comment on this because I, I, ju I just can't. I'm not even going to try. Um, Blue Box is also popular, but it's a romance, so whatever. And uh, I've already given my piece on My Hero Academia that, hey, let's look at All Might as a solid example. Bakugo is a good example of a strong design of a character. You can tell that the dude is like, you know, he works out and everything, but he was a supreme a-hole, you know, and even though he's not anymore, he's still got that nasty behavior. That's just not, that's just not inspiring, man. He's just a toxic character, even though now he's a bit better he, from before. He was a toxic bastard. Now he's just a toxic good guy if that even makes any sense uh i'm not going to talk about this this is a horrible manga uh kill blue another anorexic i already say that word starving looking character green green starving character undead unluck makes no sense don't know why people like it shadow eliminators same thing another korean boy brand band looking character this is a female led story so whatever this is trash this is trash this is for children. I never understood this. Kagurabashi, obvious trash. He also looks like a boy band character. Um, this is for children. So whatever. Uh, I never really read this, so no comment. No comment. This is garbage. And the rest, I don't really know. I don't really know the rest. But Dunadan, which is one I enjoy here and there, well, Okiran also looks like one of them. I don't want to be like Okiran. I don't. Let's create characters that people want to be like. Plain and simple. We want to be like Goku. We want to look like Guts. If I type Guts here on Google Images, I might get <laughs> literal Guts. So, uh, you know what I mean. So, I won't do that. Right? So, please. Let's not create these noodle characters anymore. I'm sick and tired of all of this. It's very demoralizing. Create characters that are actually representatives of power and ideals and order. Just like Goku, once upon a time, because now he's a goofball idiot. And All Might, once upon a time, because now he's a shriveled, dying skeleton. So, and notice that pattern. Characters that represented power in the old generation, right? They were all buff and everything, and now they're shriveled skeletons, or if they still buff, 
they are mentally handicapped like Goku is now. This is by design. The way it looks like, it's straight up by design. So I want to counter this thing. Please change your main character to not be a noodle head, to not be a boy band uh, plastic Ken character. Let's go back to the roots and bring back that testosterone. Please, let's do this. Until next time.